Uh, that gets us to our last game here. And the last one up uh, is actually the late night game. 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, Arizona State. Herm and the Sun Devils headed to UCLA. Going to go play in the Rose Bowl. UCLA, a three-and-a-half point favorite. Total of 55-and-a-half. Uh, Chip Kelly, you know, I'd, normally this would not be a coaching advantage, but Arizona State's got some weird stuff going on, man. UCLA is susceptible to the pass. That's great for Jalen Daniels and that bunch, but I I just I don't know what to make of Arizona State right now. They have made mistakes in every single game, and it has cost them. They should have won the BYU game, but so many penalties, just boneheaded stuff. And and I don't know that it's going to get fixed because they got so many coaches that are that are out uh, on leave or whatever, like that that are suspended. I I just don't know what to make of this Arizona State team. I don't know how much they are into this season. Coming off a loss like that, I, I wonder in this situation. I, I'm going to take UCLA minus three and a half. I think that this is the the team that has more to play for right now because I don't know that Arizona State is even interested. It's just it seems insane to me to say that. But but I'm going to take UCLA minus three and a half. All right, you know how much I love Herm, right? Yeah. You know how much I love Jaden Daniels, right? Yeah. All right, I've, I've been a chip guy since way back. I'm talking way way back, so I can't say the fact that I, that, that I'm siding with Chip on this thing it, it should shock anybody. But uh, right now, Gary didn't think this would happen before the season started. Give me DTR over Jaden Daniels. I think he's playing better football. I think he's a better quarterback. I think he is, too. I, I think, think he is, too. this team for UCLA is real good. This game, the winner of this game is winning the South. Okay? That's that's definitive. That's done. The, the winner of this team is going to win the South. I believe that. I don't think Utah is going to get their shit together enough to, to outrun the, the, the conference loss they've got already. And and I just don't I just don't think it's going to come to that. I think both of these teams are better than them. Might be wrong. Might be wrong about that. But I don't see them beating both of them. And and I think Chip knows for me to finally make a splash, I need to win the Pac-12. And and you can't win the Pac-12 if you don't win the Pac-12 South. And he knows if I lose this game, I need them to lose two conference games. Now, if they lose to Utah, who the hell else are they losing to? Hey, you got in me. Conference. You got because me. this conference isn't very good if they don't play Oregon, okay? And that's why I think Chip Kelly knows he's got to make his bones. He's got to make them right now. That's a that's a very good point. That is a very good point. And I love and I love the way DTR is playing. God, I love DTR. Yeah, no, I can I can side with that. I can side with that. Good gracious! All right, so we're both at rolling UCLA minus three and a half. We only disagree on let's see one, two, and not uh, three. All right, so we, we disagree on three out of 12 picks, which either means we're going to have a fantastic week or we're going to have a terrible week. <laughs> and I have no idea which one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.